Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now this is a kind of review but of a different type. And if I actually get any views or decent comments on this one, maybe, just maybe, I'll do these type of reviews going forward. Because, you know, let's be honest, you've seen one review of a tank, you've seen them all. Look, as far as tank games go, mobile tank games, to be honest with you, Blitz has got it all, to be fair. Now, okay, yes, I'm a CC. And as such, apparently, I'm not allowed to have my own opinion and I'm really biased or some bullshit like that. But that really isn't the case at all. I mean, I do have my own opinion and I am able to share it. Strange as that may be. Are you serious? And in all honesty, I absolutely do love this game. Okay, I get frustrated at losing and stuff like that. Of course I do, everybody does. But I still enjoy rolling out in a tank and smacking other tanks. I mean, who doesn't love that? I like it! So let's be a little bit honest here. I mean, this game does get a lot of negativity from numerous quarters, not least from certain white tiers, of which I am one of. But it's not just that. There is also a big deal made out of big damage and stuff as if that's a measure of anything special. So if we're done measuring dicks? I mean, it's not like measuring appendages is something new. In fact, I remember back to my old school days. Yeah, it's a bloody long time ago now. When bragging about yours being big was like the in thing. And believe me, that doesn't really change that much the older you get. Thing is, I also remember the old metaphor. It's not the size of the battleship that counts, but the motion of the ocean. And that is certainly correct in like 100% of all cases. So is it therefore right to focus on size, aka damage? I mean, who cares if you have a big one, damage stats, if you manage to handle the thing in a way that satisfies the actual situation? I know my wife doesn't. <laughs> Which brings me nicely to the IS-4, the Russian tier 10 heavy that most top players consider the noob friendly heavy. And in fairness, it probably is the most noob friendly of all the tier 10 tanks that there is. Now I could sit here and give you an in-depth review, show you the stats and the stuff like that, but really what, what would be the point? Will knowing its stats compared to other tanks make a difference to you, the player, or will knowing what the tank is actually like to play be more important? Well, I think it's the latter. But then again, I'm an opinionated old fart who doesn't have an, the luxury of speaking my mind. So what exactly do you as a player need to know about the IS-4? Well, it's got good armour. It's quite mobile for a heavy. And it actually has a rather decent gun. Russian gunner, of course, notwithstanding. It's got a very decent amount of hit points, like just over 2,800, and its reload time is around 10 seconds, which is pretty decent considering it dishes up to 525 top alpha damage on its standard AP. Okay, the average is more like 420, but that's still pretty decent every sort of 10 seconds. But all that to one side. It's really the armor that makes this thing more noob friendly over other tier 10 heavies. Okay, yeah, the E100, the mouse and the VK is a shed load more, but they also have a mobility and loading time issue, which makes them less noob friendly than the IS-4. Okay, so you can bully the socks off most things in a mouse, but you won't be getting to any part of the battlefield anytime soon. And despite having over 3000 hit points, you can lose that quicker than your hard earned cash trying to get a smasher in a crate. <laughs> Played correctly, the IS-4 is truly a lovely, lovely tank. Come on, a beautiful tank! And whilst it may have the stigma of being noob friendly, what do you care of its stigma as a player? As a player, all you should care about is winning, and who cares how you win? 
Does it matter that you did 6,000 damage in one over doing 2k damage in winning? I mean, I know plenty of people who've done over 6,000 damage and lost. So what was the point of that? Oh, that's right. Mine is bigger than yours. But again, no point having a bigger one if you can't satisfy. You know nothing that I say. So get over the mine is bigger than yours mentality. Just enjoy the tank for what it is. A rather balanced and friendly tier 10 heavy. A tank that can take a beating and still come back for some more. A tank when played all down, protecting that bottom plate, will bounce anything coming from the enemy. And it does have one of the best penetrations of any other tech tree tier 10. Sounds a bit rude! <laughs> okay, maybe not the 215B on the IS-7. But then if you don't believe me, go and check out Blitz Stars. That'll confirm exactly what I'm saying. It also has one of the best reload times. Okay, the WZ113 is better, but that has pants lower all armor. And yeah, okay, the E5 is also better. But boy, does that thing have an ammo rack issue. Are you serious? Forget about the stigma of the IS-4 being noob friendly. And forget about the mine is bigger than yours damage count scenario. Get yourself into an IS-4. Roll out in an IS-4. Learn how to play tier 10 heavies. And you know what? Ironically, you may even have some fun in doing it. And the glorious thing about having an IS-4 and rolling out in it, wow, well, the chances are you will do some decent damage. But you can do it in a relaxed way. Just don't try to overcompensate. Don't try to YOLO. Don't try to overextend. Remember where parts of the battlefield are where you can use this tank to great and maximum effect. Learn how to play the damn thing. And you know what? Once you do, the other tier 10 heavies will start to become slightly more friendly to you also. Baby, have a little faith. And remember, it's not the size of the battleship that really counts. It's the motion of the ocean that really does matter. There's no point having a big one if you can't satisfy. Simple as that. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been a different kind of review on the IS-4, a tank that I absolutely love. I really do. And I don't care about the stigma. I don't care about the fact I've got not the best damage ever in it. And I don't care about anything, to be honest with you. Why? Because I enjoy the tank for what it is, and I enjoy the game for what it is. It's about going out there having fun and smacking other tanks back into the garage and having a bit of a giggle and a chilled out time when doing it. Anyway, by all means comment and everything below and until the next time guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because seriously, I don't know it's like a catchphrase but I really mean this. It's all about having fun and being happy.